Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on solve proportion. Here I have two fractions equal to each other. I don't know about you, fractions are nasty. So over the years I helped my students to have this visual ways to transform fractions into butterflies. Butterflies are kind of cool. I live in Arizona right now. It's springtime and flowers are flying and pollens are flying as well. Makes me sneeze. All right, so butterfly basically saying you're going to do a diagonal multiplication and keep the equal sign. So if you don't have an equal sign, you think of the equal sign as the butterfly's guts. So you have to have a butterfly with the guts. The reason behind this one is really simple. If you have a 1 over 2, that's equal to 2 over 4. Another way to write this one, of course, using our butterfly, is to say 1 times 4, diagonal multiplication, is equal to 2 times 2. Check, that works. So let's do the same thing over here. n minus 6 times 3n plus 1 equal to 3n times n minus 5. Lo and behold, no more fractions. And from here, should be a pre pretty easy. Let's combine this one. We have a 3n squared plus, I'm following the curves here, plus n and minus, I'm going to write it on the bottom over here because I'm going to combine those two terms. And then I have a minus 6. Okay, so here's my equal sign. This one is easy, 3n squared minus 15n. Okay, let's draw a line, let's combine this one. I have a 3n squared minus 17n minus 6 equal to 3n squared minus 15n. All right, well, life is treating us well here. 3n squared gets canceled. That's really pretty. And then let's add 17n on both sides. It doesn't really matter which side you want to move to so long you move variable to one side. I have a 2n over here. So n is equal to minus 3. And here's our answer, right? Well, that's how we handle a equation with fractions. Hope it's clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making math fun, or at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.